All right, and we are live. Welcome back po to Gurung Pinoy. And of course, we would like to especially welcome back the members of Team Piaché. So again, if you are a member of Team Piaché, you, know, you can easily answer our quizzes. You can have a copy of all the materials that we have. Our PowerPoint presentation, you can easily just download. You can also enjoy the full-length video in your in your group. That is, of course, Team Piaché. And meron din po tayong free pre-board and, of course, free final coaching. And tonight, our discussion is centered on general education. Ngayon po, no? yung mga items natin tonight are those items that came out in January 2022 na let. Okay, so galing po ito sa January 2022 na let. And of course, we would like to congratulate all our new LPTs. Lahat po ng mga LPTs na, lahat ng mga kakapasa pa lamang. Na members po ng Gurung Pinoy, members ng Team Gardner, and of course also members ng Team Ericsson. May iilan din siya sa kanila na galing sa Team Piaché. Congratulations! Ganap na po kayong LPTs. And of course, we are very happy for your success. Kagalakad po namin na kayo ay uh, ganap ng guro. No? Of course, sa tulong ng Gurung Pinoy, and of course, in your dedication and through your hard work. And of course, we would like to especially congratulate our top notchers. So we have Sir Thomas Jefferson Fernando of Pangasinan State University. University, and he was top three for the elementary level. And we also have uh, two top notchers from secondary level. The first one is Sir Mark Jovel Mission of Dalubhasaan. Dang Lungsod ng San Pablo, and we also have Ma Maria Jesusa Diaz of Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Okay, so si Sir Mark at si, si Ma Maria Jesusa naman po ay for secondary levels. So again, hindi po imposible na kayo ay pumasa kahit na online yung review natin. Mas maganda nga yung online na review kasi you don't have to spend a lot of money. Ngayon, uh, ngayon pa nga, ano, alam natin na magtataas na naman yung bayad nyo sa, sa jeepney because of course there's a, there has been a lot of oil price hike, no? masyado na mataas ang presyo ng gas, ng gasolina, hindi lamang dyan sa Pilipinas, kahit dito sa Amerika, no? $4 din per liter kami, or per gallon dito. Okay, so masyado na pong mataas yung gasolina, and of course we know this can affect the fare no? sa ating jeepney, and of course kung you are doing your review face-to-face, -face, minsan pag umabsent ka, wala na, no? kakalimutan mo na, hindi mo na mababalikan yung naging lecture ng inyong lecture, and of course uh, most face-to-face -face classes, what they do is lecture no so hindi ang cop hindi siya test based hindi siya test test taking skills yung kanilang tinuturo dito po sa gurung pinoy of course we give you the different items and these items we can vouch that these are the items that you would see in your lab because these are the items that we have seen in the previous lab and i know that you have seen a lot of comments saying na yung mga ni review nila dito sa gurung pinoy yun talaga yung mga lubang-lubas sa lab no so we are hitting the targets and of course we are not wasting time if even if you cannot join us for our live discussion, for example, you can still come back. No, po pwedeng balik-balikan. Kung meron kang nakalimutan, po pwede mo ulit balikan. No? We also have our YouTube channel that's named Gurung Pinoy. And of course, we also have our Facebook page that's also Gurung Pinoy. Pero yung videos po on our YouTube channel also on our Facebook page, those are just snippets. No? Because of course, we give our priority to the members of Team Piaché. So again, please do become a member of Team Piaché. And of course, congratulations sa mga naging LP is na, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga Team Thunders, no? yung mga medyo uh, matagal nang gumraduate, naging unit takers lamang, nag-diploma in teaching, at ngayon ay LPTs na. No? Kahit iniisip nila minsan na, o iniisip nila dati na hirap na hirap sila dahil nga old curriculum pa sila or matagal na siyang gumraduate, um, nakahabol sila. And of course, now they are licensed professional teachers very, very soon no? after their oath-taking and after they get their licenses. Okay? So again, please do become a member of Team Piaché. At dahil naka more than 2K yung post natin kanina, meron po tayong promo. No? So abangan nyo po yan mamaya. Pagkatapos po ng ating live, meron po tayong promo. Okay? Now again, this is General Education 20 items from January 2022 left. But of course, let's all start with our opening prayer. So please join me as we have our prayer. We thank you for this new day, Lord. Help us to embrace all that it may hold for us, to hear the bird song and have new melodies in our hearts, to see the sunrise and create beauty with our hands, to touch the leaves that grow afresh, and allow your love to touch our hearts, to smell the fragrance of the flowers and breathe in the wonder of your creation, to dwell on the beauty of our world 
and study and fathom your miracles. To enjoy the conversations we have and the lessons we go to, may we drink in all the goodness you have for us. Amen. All right, so again, this is general education items coming from January 2022. If you are ready, please do like this video. And of course, napaka-importante that you share our video, okay? Paki-like po, paki-heart ng ating video. Nandyan lamang po, malapit sa inyong comment box, no? yung like and uh, heart button. And of course, please do share this video para mas marami pa po tayong ma-reach, no? mas marami pa po tayong matulungan. And of course, if you would like to support Gurung Pinoy, you can also send us your stars through Facebook or also maybe your Super Chat, Super Stickers on YouTube. Maraming 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 salamat po. Ayan, ang dami nating passers. Ma'am Meg, I passed the board exam na po. Ma'am K. Kabuyok, LPT. Okay, congratulations. Okay, so again, uh, I'm pretty sure ang dami ngayon ng ating mga kaka-LPTs pa lamang na nandito, no, who are joining us. So maraming salamat for joining us. And of course, balik-balik po kayo, no? Balik-balik po tayo sa ating mga first-timers ngayon. Welcome po. And of course, sa uh, ating mga veterans, yung mga nandito na, ilang taon na silang nandito. We started our YouTube channel, also our Facebook page um, in February, two years ago. No? So two years ago, we have grown because of your support. And of course, we know that we are also helping you. And so that's that's a reason why you are also supporting Gurong Pinoy. Okay, so congrats, Sir El Rashid and Ma'am Eunice Carbajal. I see that in our comment section from Ma'am Danica de los Santos. Congratulations po, Sir El Rashid and Ma'am Eunice, no, yung mga uh, veterano din natin dito sa Gurung Pinoy. Okay, we have to let go of our team, Erickson and Team Gardner. Pumasa na sila. Okay, sa lahat ng mga pumasa, congratulations. Balik-balik, pwede pong support through stars, and of course, through Super Chat, Super Stickers. And of course, napaka-importante din that you spread the word and uh, you share Gurung Pinoy, okay? Para mas marami pa po tayong matulungan. All right, again, please do like this video, heart this video. 200 of you have still not liked or heart this video. And of course, paki-share po ng ating video. Okay, please go ahead. Share this video, like or heart this video. We are going to start in one minute. Uh, ayan, si Ma'am Froyla Foronda Raimundo. Thank you, Ma'am. LPT na po ako. Salamat sa Gurung Pinoy. Mm -hmm. Si Sir Roger Abalos. Congratulations. Team Peche. Salamat sa Gurung Pinoy, sabi ni Sir Roger. Okay, so ang dami pa. I'm pretty sure ang dami na comment kanina na hindi ko lang po nababasa. All right. Again, please do like, heart, and share this video. We start with question number one. Okay, number one. So, again, yung mga items natin, no, kakachun inyo pa lamang. Ang items po natin ay galing sa January let 2022. Okay, so let January 2022 po ito. Ito yung mga item, items na nakita ng mga pumasa na. No? Kakapasa pa lamang natin na LPTs. Okay, which among the following scientists developed the vaccine for rabies? Is it letter A, Jonas Edward Salk, letter B, John B. Robbins, letter C, Louis Pasteur, or letter D, Manuel Pataroyo? Okay, what's your choice? Facebook user, I cannot see your name. Hello po, Mamek. Thank you po. Thank you. Dahil sa Gurong Pinoy, nakapasa na po ako. Team Peche. Congratulations again sa ating mga passers. Sa mga first-timers natin sa live, welcome po. Balik-balik. Again, we are doing live streams every Saturdays and Sundays. Ngayon po yung schedule natin is at at 8.30 p.m. No, dahil po yung iba po sa members natin ay meron pong majoring until 8 o'clock. So six, from 6 to 8, meron po silang majorship or final coaching, lalo na sa mga magtitake this March. And so we moved our live stream at 8.30 Pagkatapos po ng let, balik po tayo sa 7 p.m. Okay, I see a lot of letter C's for question number one. Letter C kaya ay tumpak? Okay, or genocide kaya ang mangyayari? 
watching from Thailand. Kapungka. Si Sir Louis had enough. Good evening po. Okay, ayan, basahin ko lamang. Sir Adonis Hamito, good evening po, Mamek. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga live video and YouTube, YouTube video. Napakalaking tulong po sa aking self-review para po makapasan ng let sa mga future LPT, the best po ang Gurung Pinoy. God bless and more power. Maraming maraming salamat po and of course, congratulations. Sir Rogelio Cruz Samson, thank you, Mamek. Proud to say Rogelio C. Samson, LPT. Team Erickson po ako. To God be the glory. Congratulations po. Okay, going back to our question here. The question is, Aba si Ma'am Veronica, nag-change ng answer. Which among the following scientists developed the vaccine for rabies? Is it letter A, Jonas Edward Salk? Letter B, John B. Robbins? Letter C, Louis Pasteur? Or letter D, Manuel Cataroyo? And the correct choice here is... Letter C, okay? So letter C, Louis Pasteur, is the one who has given us the, the vaccine for rabies, okay? So vaccine for rabies, that's Louis Pasteur. And of course, he's also known for pasteurization, no? yung sinasabi natin, process of sterilization of milk and other substances, other dairy products. We call this pasteurization that's coming from his last name, okay? So here in this question, we know that he is the one who has developed the vaccine for rabies, okay? Now, what about the rest of the people here? Letter A, Jonas Edward Salk, he developed polio vaccines, okay? So ngayon medyo bumabalik na naman yung polio. Now, there's uh, several countries na meron na naman kaso ng polio. Um, letter B, John Bennett Robbins, uh, he gave us the vaccine for bacterial meningitis and influenza B. Okay, so influenza B, this is the flu. Yung sipon ubo, no? sipon ubo, sakit ng ulo, so, so flu siya. And uh, the other one, bacterial meningitis, meningitis naman is a disease of the brain. No? So condition siya pag yung, yung bacteria ay inatake yung, yung meninges mo, no? yung linings ng brain, then you can have bacterial meningitis. Okay, so that's Robbins. And the last one, Manuel Elkin Pataroyo Murillo was the one who first developed a synthetic vaccine for malaria. Okay, so ang malaria po, uh, kadalasan din itong lumalabas sa let, no? so dapat ay alam niyo to. Malaria, usually ang question sa let about malaria is, what is the vector for malaria? When you say vector, what organism passes malaria from one person to another? Ano yung nagdadala ng disease na malaria, no? nakakapagpasa na malaria from one person to another? And your, your answer there would be mosquito, and specifically that's anopheles mosquito. No? So anopheles mosquito. For malaria, for dengue naman, which is also a very common question in the let, that would be your Aedes mosquito. Okay, so Aedes mosquito, Aedes aegypti, or Aedes albopectus. No? So lumalabas po yan. Uh, meron ding lumalabas sa malaria about what causes malaria. Okay, so iba po yung vector sa cause. Pag sinabi mong vector, siya yung nagdadala, no? nagtatrans nagtatransmit, nagtatransfer ng malaria from one person to another. So sinabi natin kanina, anopheles mosquito for your, for your malaria. Ang um, causative agent naman niya, yung cause niya ay uh, isang spore, no? isang plasmodium vivax, plasmodium, yung tinatawag na cause na malaria. So yan po ay mga common questions sa let, pa pwede nyo makita in your upcoming let this March or in June or in September. Okay, but here for number one, the correct choice is letter C. Okay, so tumpak ang letter C. All right, we move on with number two. Which among the following poets wrote, wrote a sonnet for her husband? Is it letter A, Maya Angelou? Letter B, Elizabeth Barrett Browning? Letter C, Mary Ann Evans? Or letter D, Emily Dixon? Dickinson? Okay, what's your answer for number two? Um, Ma'am Jasmine, makasait. Pag blurred po, ay i-check nyo po yung video quality. Try to check the video quality. Ibahin nyo po yung video quality, ma'am. 
Sir Dustin Agsalod, sabi ni Sir Dustin, thank you po, Gurong Pinoy. Ang daming pumasa. I'm still watching your left online sessions. God bless po. Si Sir Dustin naman ay isa sa ating mga LPTs ng September 2021. Okay, so ba mabalik-balik pa rin si Sir Dustin. Maraming salamat po. Okay, what's your answer for number two? Ma'am Angel and Layo, congratulations. Thank you, Coach Mac. LPT na po, first taker. Mga video niyo po ang katuwang ko sa review. Maraming salamat. And of course, congratulations. Again, pag-blurred po, i-check niyo po yung video quality. Hanapin niyo po yung three dots at i-change niyo po yung quality. Sir Codel Season, LPT. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Mac. Isa na po akong ganap na LPT. Team Piaché. Sulit po lahat ng tinuro nyo. Congratulations po again. Okay, sa lahat ng ating mga bagong-bagong LPTs, mainit-init pa, no? Congratulations. And of course, sa mga paparating na LPTs, no? Sa March, meron na, na, na naman tayong panibagong batch ng LPT. Okay, letter B. I see a lot of letter B sa ating comment box. Tumpak kaya ang letter B. Okay, number two here. Which among the following poets wrote a sonnet for her husband? Letter A, Maya Angelou. Letter B, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Letter C, Mary Ann Evans. Or letter D, Emily Dickinson. Again, these items came from January let, no, 2022. So, kakatapos pa lamang And the correct choice that we have here is letter B. So, tumpak yung letter B, Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Let's take a look at our... Explanation. Si Elizabeth Barrett Browning, she actually wrote, How Do I Love Thee? Uh, for her husband, poet Rob Robert Browning. No? So yung poet na husband niya was Robert Browning. And she wrote, How Do I Love Thee? Let me count the ways. I love you with this blah, blah, blah. Usually nakikita ito na, na poem. No? Minsan nakikita natin sa mga, sa mga card, Valentine's Day card. Birthday card, minsan meron, gina, ginagamit nila yung How Do I Love Thee. Maya Angelou was an American poet. She actually was a Black American. And she was also a memoirist and civil rights activist. Um, her famous works were Caged Bird and Still I Rise. Okay, so Still I Rise and Caged Bird. Yan yung mga famous work ni Maya Angelou. Mary Ann Evans was known by her pen name George Eliot. Okay, so she used the pen name George Eliot because, of course, during that time, meron pang discrimination sa mga babae. No? So hindi masyadong binabasa yung mga gawa ng mga babae. And so she was using a man's name. She was using the pen name George Eliot. Ito po ay kadalasang lumalabas sa let, no? Mary Ann Evans, her, pe her pen name was George Eliot. Her famous works are Silas Marner, Adam Beard, The Mill on the Floss, Middle March, and Danielle Deronda. Uh, Romulo. Okay, and of course, the last one that we have is Emily Elizabeth Dickinson, an American poet whose most famous work was Hope is the Thing with Feathers. Okay, Hope is the Thing with Feathers. That's by Emily Elizabeth Dickinson. But here, our choice is letter B. Okay, so letter B po, item pa for question number two. We move on with question number three. Dr. Jose Rizal is known as the country's national hero who died a martyr. How did he die? Letter A, killed by guillotine. Letter B, killed by loneliness. Letter C, killed by hanging. Or letter D, killed by firing squad. Okay, ayan na si Dr. Jose Rizal. No, medyo napahirap sa ating mga guro noong January 2022 na left. Ma'am Riza Galicia, yes po, nakikita na po kita. Uh, Sir Chris Green, abangan niyo lamang po na no? minsan po kasi eh, baka natatabunan. Mamaya po, babalikan po ng admin natin. Bising busy po si admin. Okay, natambakan po ng message. Oh, si Ma'am Maylin Mongkal pala, kinab kinabisado ang How Do I Love Thee? Let Me Count the Ways. No?
Okay, maraming salamat sa ating mga star senders, no? Ganon din po sa ating mga super chatters, super sticker senders. Maraming maraming salamat po. Babalikan ko po kay mamaya. Okay, number three, I see D. Tumpa kaya ang letter D. Pinatay ba siya by firing squad? Okay, again, sa mga nagme-message po, mamaya po babalikan ni admin. And of course, if you are if you are interested no, to become a member of Team Piaché, meron po tayong uh, promo after this live stream. Okay, because if you are watching us, kung kayo po ay nanonood ngayon sa ating Facebook page or sa ating YouTube channel, napuputol po yung inyong video. No? Yung full-length full length video po ay nasa Team Piaché. Okay, and of course, if member ka ng Team Piaché, po pwede mo pong i-download itong aking PowerPoint PowerPoint presentation. Okay, number three, Dr. Jose Rizal is known as the country's national hero who died a martyr. How did he die? Okay, is it letter A, killed by guillotine? Letter B, killed by loneliness? Letter C, killed by hanging? Or letter D, killed by firing squad? And of course, we know that it should be letter D, you know? So he was killed by firing squad. Ang daming lumabas. Okay, so yung nga sabi ni Ma'am Marjolene Corpus, yes po, no, lumabas po ito January 2022. The items that we are discussing tonight are all items from January 2022. Okay, so uh, he was killed, of course, by firing squad. Now, these are a few things, no, maraming lumabas dito from this discussion. So, mi ultimo adios, lumabas din ito. This is a poem written by Philippine national hero Dr. Serizal on the eve of his execution on 30 December 1896. Now, so, that means um, the day before, ay ginawa niya yung mi ultimo adios. But actually, yung mi ultimo adios, it was untitled. No? Wala siyang title. Sila na lamang, no? yung mga nakakita na lamang, I think, one of his relatives, yung nakakita ng poem yun na yung nagbigay ng mi ultimo adios na title. Now, Filipino soldiers, alam niyo ba na yung mga Pilipino na soldiers mismo yung pumatay or nag-fighting squad kay Dr. Jose Rizal. No? So, Filipino so soldiers were deliber deliberately chosen to compose the firing squad. Behind them stood their Spanish counterparts ready to execute them also should they decline to do the job. So, kung hindi nila papatayin si Dr. Jose Rizal, sila naman yung papatayin, no? Jose Rizal refused to kneel and decline the traditional blindfold, maintaining that he was not a traitor to his country and to Spain. He even requested to face the firing squad. When finally, he agreed to turn his back to the firing squad after some sweet talk on the condition that he would not be shot in the head, but in the small of the back instead. No? And here, this one is also, uh, this also would come out in the let. No, lumalabasin ito sa let. Consumatum est. That means it is finished. These were Rizal's last words during his execution by firing squad in Bagumbayan, which of course now is Luneta Park. No? So, mi ultimo adios, lumalabas po yan. And consumatum es, lumalabas po yan. Okay, so again, he was killed by firing squad. So, letter D is tumpak for number three. Okay, we move on with number four. Who is the author of Silas Marner, The Weaver of Ravelo? I've, I've mentioned this a while ago, which is an outwardly simple tale of a linen weaver. The novel is notable for its strong realism and its sophisticated treatment of a variety of issues ranging from religion to industrializ industrialization to community. Is it letter A, George Eliot? Letter B, Nathaniel Hawthorne? Letter C, Dan Brown? Or letter D, Stephen King? Okay, what's your answer for number four? I have just mentioned this a while ago. Now, so uh, question number two napin. Facebook user, I cannot see your name. Thank you po, Ma'am Mek. Nakapasa po ako. Team Piaché po ako. Napakagaling niyo po magturo. Hindi naging mahirap sa akin ang exam, lalo na ang Prof. Ed. Maraming salamat po. Ito, isa sa mga members ng Team team Thunders natin. Oh. Good evening, Coach Mac. Ivan Salas po, LPT. Kagabi lang from Eastern Samar, member ng Team Thunders. Nagsimula po sa walang, sa walang alam dahil unit earner lang hanggang unti-unting natuto sa tulong niyo po. Maraming salana, salamat and of course, congratulations, Sir Ivan. Sir Ivan, isa sa mga makukulit nating member ito. Eh, no? Marami siyang tanong because of course, Unit earner lang nga si, si Sir Ivan. So um, many of our members, the names 
uh, their names now have actually become very familiar to all of us, especially those na palaging uh, nagbe-message sa atin, no? palagi, palagi merong tanong. Okay, letter A for number four. Again, if you'd like to become a member of Team Piaché, mamaya po, pagkatapos ng live, ay mag-send lamang po kayo ng uh, message ninyo sa atin pong Facebook page kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon. At abangan nyo po, meron po tayong promo mamaya. Okay, so who is the author of Silas Marner? The correct choice here, of course, is letter A, George Eliot. Now, Mary Ann Evans was the real name. George Eliot was just a pen name. Okay, so letter A, George Eliot is tumpa. Now, what about the rest of the things here? Si Nathaniel Hawthorne, palagi din pong lumalabas ito sa, sa let, no? Nathaniel Hawthorne was the one who wrote the Scarlet Letter. Dan Brown, of course, he medyo modern na si Dan Brown at, at si Stephen King. Dan Brown's famous works are The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno. And for Stephen King, he wrote It, Carrie, The Shining, and Green Mile. Marami sa mga ginawa ni Stephen King, ginawang movies. No? He's, he's my favorite author. Okay, so Stephen King, he's the king of horror. He's an American author who'd always be writing about horror stories, and many of his, his horror books have been turned into movies. Okay, so It. Carrie, The Shining Green Mile, these are some of the works of Stephen King. No? He's, he's got a lot of other works. Okay, so number four is A. Tumpak po ang letter A. All right, number five, dengue is a debilitating viral disease of the tropics transmitted by mosquitoes. No? So we have mentioned a while ago, this is transmitted, dengue is transmitted by Aedes mosquitoes and causing sudden fever and acute pains in the joints. In which phylum do the vector of dengue belong? Is it letter A, platyhelminthes, letter B, nematoda, letter C, arthropoda, or letter D, chordata? Okay, what's your choice for number Okay, question number five, what is our choice? Five C. I see letter C is for question number five. Again, please do share our video, like and heart our video. Uh, we are currently discussing items coming from January, LEP 2022. Okay, number five, dengue is a viral disease of the tropics transmitted by mosquitoes, causing sudden fever and acute pains. In which phylum do the vector of dengue belong? Platyhelminthes, nematoda, arthropoda, or letter D, chordata? And the correct choice is letter C, arthropods, no, arthropoda. Babalikan po natin sa ating discussion, no? So, platyhelminthes, nematoda, chordata, these are not the choices. The correct choice here is arthropoda. Now, before we go to the different phyla that we have for the animal kingdom, no, ito muna yung ating classification, no? this is the different levels of organization ng ating organisms. No? So, pinakamalaki uh, is kingdom. Okay, yan yung pinakamalawak. No? Kingdom animalia, for example, or kingdom plantae for your plants. No? So, kingdom. Then, after kingdom, you have phylum. Then, after phylum, you have class, order, family, genus, and species. Okay, so, minsan, itatanong sa inyo ni Let, no, na arrange ito in proper order so you have to memorize the different arrangement of king fi, kingdom phylum class order family genus species i usually the mnemonic that i would suggest to my students would be king philip came over for greater success okay so king philip came over for greater success or sometimes some people would say for great sex no or sometimes some people would say for great spaghetti okay so depending sa inyo kung kung saan yung mas 
comportable kayo kung saan yung mas mabilis nyong maalala. No? So, King Philip came over for greater success. At meron pang mas mataas dito no sa kingdom, meron pang domain. So domain, pag uh, sinama mo yung domain and you'd like to use that in your mnemonics, you have to say dear King Philip. Okay? So dear King Philip uh, came over for greater success. Okay? So these are the different levels of organization. If you have a scientific name, uh, kunwari meron kang scientific name, scientific name ng mais, no? Ng mais kunwari is uh, Zaya Maize or scientific name ng ng rice is Oriza Sati now, those two terms would be the genus and the species name. Now, yung Oriza, the first name is the genus name. And Sativa, the last name is the species name. Now, so, Oriza Sativa or Zea Mais or, uh, for example, sa gumamela mo na Hibiscus rosacinensis. So, Hibiscus is the genus name while uh, Rosacinensis is the species name. So, if your lab is going to ask you, uh, if the scientific name of gumamela is hibiscus rosacinensis, what classification is hibiscus? And so your answer there would be genus. No? So the first term in your scientific name is the genus name, and the last term would be the species name. Now we have to remember only organisms belonging to the same species can breed. No? So uh, yung lamang mga organisms that belong to the same species ang nakaka uh, nag, nagkakaroon ng anak no so yung mga tao lamang tao sa tao magkakaanak so ikaw at ang kabayo ikaw at ang ang aso ikaw at ang kambing no kahit anong gawin mo hindi kayo magkakaanak no only organisms belonging to the same species can breed okay so tandaan po yan so again our mnemonics dear king philip came over for greater success. Now, so domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Lumalabas po ito sa let, no? So dapat po alam natin ito. And these are the different phyla sa ating animal kingdom. You have porifera. These are your sponges, no? Ito yung may mga marami silang maraming holes, maraming holes sa kanilang body, maraming pores. Okay, ang example nito would be sponges. So SpongeBob is part of phylum porifera. Now you also have nidaria, nidaria mo or nidaria. Some people would pronounce this nidaria, other people would pronounce this as nidaria, nidaria silent c. Po pwede din naman. These are organisms with radial symmetry. That means pag tiningnan mo from the axis, no, from the center of the body and um, the rest of the parts of the body, yung symmetry nila is from the radius, no, from the center of the body. So example for this would be your jellyfish. Another uh, very important characteristic of your nidaria is that they have stinging cells. Meron silang stinging cells. So pag uh, dinikitan ka ng jelly, jellyfish mo, no, the, you all know that it's going to sting you. Okay, now these are the rest of your phyla. Platyhelminta, ito yung ating platyhelminthes kanina, yung letter A mo. These are flatworms, okay? So flatworms yung platyhelminthes. You also have molluska. Yung molluska mo, usually these are the bivalves. Ito yung may mga dalawang shell. Okay, they'd always have hard covering, no? they'd always have the shell. Uh, in the case of your octopus, in the case of your squid, yung shell nila actually is the pen. Yung kinukuha nyo pag kinakain nyo yung squid or iluluto nyo yung squid at your octopus, yung kinukuha nyo parang, parang matigas inside, that, that was actually their shell. No? Yung shell niya nasa loob lang. But that's your molluska. No? Yung bivalves mo are part of your molluska. And these are also uh, part of your phyla, of, of your of your invertebrate phyla. The first one is anelida. Anelida, your anelids, these are segmented worms, okay? So worms that are made up of different segments. Example for this would be your earthworms. Okay, so segment, no? May segment sila. Kada bahagi ng katawan nila ay segment. Okay? Now, this was our answer, arthropods, no? Arthropoda. And this would consist your... Uh, your insects, yung mga insecto natin nandito sa arthropoda. Kaya dengue, yung mosquitoes that would cause or that would transmit dengue, your Aedes aegypti mosquito, even that, that would um, transmit malaria, no, yung Anopheles mosquito mo, would be part of your arthropods, yung insects mo. Uh, these are characterized by, by segmented joints, no, may segment yung joints nila, may head, thorax, and abdomen sila. And they have, uh, they, they of course have legs. No, so these are your arthropods. Um, 
A uh, common question about arthropods in the let is sila yung may pinakamaraming species. Okay, so which among the different phyla has the the most number of species, the most number of different species? And your answer would be your arthropods. Okay, so arthropoda po yung ating, ating answer. Okay, so that was letter C. Now, ang nematodes mo naman, nematoda mo, these are your roundworms. Ito yung roundworms. Ang flatworms mo would be platyhelminthes. Your segmented worms would be your annelids. While your nematodes, these are your roundworms. Okay, so roundworms naman sila. Yung chordata mo, these are organisms with, with notochord. No? These are organisms with spinal cord. Okay, so tayo chordata tayo. Meron tayong spinal cord, which of course is protected by our vertebrae. Okay, now going to number six. Ito na naman si Dr. Jose Rizal. Okay, number six. Where did Dr. Jose Rizal receive his primary education? So again, lumabas po ito January 2022. University of Santo Tomas, letter B, Universidad Central de Madrid, letter C, Ateneo de Municipal, or letter D, Maestro Hostiniano. Okay, what's your answer for number six? Um, Ma'am Anneli Ayroso Jimenez, bukas po yung ating Prof. Ed. So Saturday po, Gen Ed po tayo. Then Sunday we'll have Prof. Ed. Ayan, si Ma'am Maricel Takuyo Nestal. Thank you po, Ma'am Mek. Sobrang helpful po ng live review discussion. Uh, even sa YouTube videos, I'm now one of the LPTs 2022. Thank you. Okay, congratulations again sa ating mga LPTs. Si Ma'am Joy Ann Aponte. Good evening, Coach Mac. Thank you so much sa tulong niyo po. Marami po akong natutunan, especially sa ISMs. Team Piaché po ako, LPT na ngayon, January 30, 2022 LPT. Congratulations, Ma'am Joy Ann Aponte. Ito, si Sir Edgar Peralta, isa din sa ating mga Team Thunders. No, good evening po, Ma'am. Super thank you po. Team Thunder po ako noon, Gardner, LPT na po ako ngayon. Super thank you po talaga. Okay, so ito yung mga... Uh, sobrang pinag, pinagpapasalamat natin, sobrang kinakasaya natin, especially yung mga team thunders natin na alam natin uh, kapag tayo ay medyo nagkakaedad, eh, medyo hirap na din tayo no, na matuto. But of course, we'd always try, I, I would always try to make it easy for you to learn no, to, as much as possible. Ganyan kasi yung role natin dapat as teachers. Huwag natin pahihirapan yung ating mga estudyante no, as much as possible. Uh, we have to teach them in the most or in the easiest way that we can. No? Hindi yung masyadong pahira. Pinaka-simple, pinaka, pinaka-madaling maintindihan ng ating mga estudyante. Yan dapat yung ating ginagawa. Okay, letter C, letter A. What's your choice? University of Santo Tomas. Uh, Ma'am Grace, honey, Subaldo, inusog po natin dahil po yung iba po sa inyo ay may majorship. So may 6 to 8 po sila na majorship. And so we have to start at 8.30 para po ma-accommodate sila. But again, after March na let, babalik po tayo sa 7 p.m. Okay, letter A, B, C, D. Karamihang choice niyo ay letter C. The question is, where did Dr. Rosarizal receive his primary education? And the compact na choice, of course, is Ateneo de Municipal. Okay, so letter C. Atenista po si Dr. Roserizal, no? He was a true blue Atenista. So Ateneo de Municipal ay kung saan siya nakakuha ng kanya, ng kanyang primary education. Puntahan po natin yung ating slide. Okay, so here. Rizal first studied under Maestro Hostiniano Aquino Cruz. Si Maestro Hostiniano Aquino Cruz ay naging... Uh, tutor niya, no? So, tutor niya in Binyan, Laguna before he was sent to Manila. As to his father's request, he took the entrance examination in Colegio de San Juan de Letran and studied there for almost three months. So, three months lamang siya sa San Juan de Letran. The Dominican friars asked him to transfer to another school because of his radical and bold questions, no? Matanong si Rizal, napaka-curious niya. Wala siyang preno, walang filter si Dr. Rosé Rizal. And so, he was asked by the friars to move to another school. 
He then enrolled at the Ateneo Municipal de Manila and graduated as one of the nine students in his class declared sobresaliente or outstanding. He continued his education at the Ateneo Municipal de Manila to obtain a land surveyor and assessor's degree. And at the same time, at the University of Santo Tomas, where he did take up a preparatory course in law. Upon learning that his mother was going blind, he decided to switch to medicine at the Medical School of Santo Tomas, specializing later in ophthalmology. So he started with, yung primary education niya was Ateneo. Ang unang-unang nag-tutor sa kanya is si Maestro Siniano Aquino Cruz. Then nag-enroll siya sa San Juan de Letran, matanong siya, walang filter. And so he was moved to Ateneo Municipal de Manila. Nagtapos siya doon ng kanyang primary education. And then he continued studying there. Ang unang-unang niyang, uh, uh, as, at the same time, no, so surveyor and assessor's degree niya sa Ateneo de Manila or Ateneo Municipal de Manila. And he also enrolled sa law sa University of Santo Tomas. Kaya lang, dahil nga um, nagsisimula ng mabulag yung kanyang nanay, nag-shift siya into medicine. No? And he specialized in ophthalmology. Now, in May 1882, um, he studied medicine at the Universidad Central de Madrid, where he earned the degree licensiate in medicine. His education continued at the University of Paris, and the University of Heidelberg, where he earned a second de uh, second doctorate. No, ang dami niyang, ayaw niyang, ayaw niyang mag-stop mag-aral. No? Masyado siyang masipag mag-aral. Okay? But then again, our answer was Ateneo Municipal de Manila. Letter C is the correct choice for number six. Okay, number seven. What are the prime factors of 56? Is it letter A, 2 times 2 times 3 times 4? Letter B, 2 times 3 times 3 times 5? Letter C, 2 times 4 times 7? Or letter D, 2 times 2 times 2 times 7? Okay, what's your choice for number 7? So again, lahat po ng items na uh, dinidiscuss natin ngayon is from... January 2022 na Okay, so January 2022. And um, again, if you are watching us on our Facebook page or also on our YouTube channel, napuputol po yung inyong video. So for you to enjoy the full-length video, magpa-member po kayo sa Team Peche, no? At pag-member po kayo sa Team Peche, nada-download nyo po itong aking PowerPoint presentation. So lahat po ng discussion, nakikita ninyo, lahat ng mga slides ko, e po pwede nyo i-print, no? So yan po yung advantage ng pagiging member ng Team Peche. And of course, it's a one-time membership. The membership is good until September of this year, no? Wala po tayong monthly payment and there's no hidden fees. So once you become a member, you stay a member until September of this year. Okay, so napakasulit pong maging member ng Team Pioche. So again, after this video, meron po tayong ilalapag na promo for Team Pioche. So magpa-member po kayo if you can. No? All right, number seven, letter D. Okay, what are the prime factors? Uh, again, yung atin pong membership is good until September. So, meron po tayong uh, promo for March, June. March and June, no? At ang yung membership nyo po, of course, is until September. 2 times 2 times 3 times 4. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. 2 times 4 times 7. Or... 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. Now, we are looking for prime factors. You all know what prime numbers are. Na pag sinabi mong prime numbers, it has no other factor but itself and 1. Okay? So, dapat prime number yung ating magiging factors dito. So, 4, the number 4 is not a prime number dahil 4, yung factors niya is, of course, 1 times 4 at po pwede ding 2 times 2. So, X na itong A and C mo. Hindi sila po pwedeng maging choice mo. And so, yung uh, next choice mo na lamang would be B or D. Your answer should be 56, no? So, upon checking letter B, and letter B mo, 2 times 3 times 3 times 5, 3 times 3 is 9 times 5 is 45, times 2, that's 90. Okay, so the, the final answer here would be 90. So that means hindi siya yung inyong choice. And the correct choice here is letter D. Okay, so letter D, that's 2 times 2 times 2. 2 cubed, no? 2 raised to the third power, that's 8. 
times 7, and you know that 8 times 7 is 56. So, tumpak ang ating letter D. Okay? Again, letter D po ay tumpak. All right, now we go to number 8. Harry Potter is a series of seven fantasy novels. The novels chronicle the lives of a young wizard, Harry Potter, and his friends, Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley, all of whom are students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Who is the famous author of Harry Potter? Is it letter A, Harper Lee? Letter B, Stephanie Mayer? Letter C, J.K. Rowling? Or letter D, Suzanne Collins? Okay, who's your choice for number eight? Again, if you are watching us on our Facebook page, also on our YouTube channel, your video is the shorter version. So please do become a member of Team PSA. Send us a message to our Facebook page. There's going to be a promo after this live session. If you are a member of Team PSA, you can enjoy the full-length video. And of course, you can also download my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, it's a one-time membership, no uh, hidden fees, no monthly payment. It's valid until September 2022. Okay, so magpapamember kayo ngayon, kahit na June pa kayo magtitake or September pa kayo magtitake, sulit na sulit, no? mas mahaba yung time nyo para mag-prepare for your upcoming lab. And of course, lahat ng mga previous videos natin nandun pa rin sa ating Team Biaché. So kahit ngayon pa lang kayo mag-e-enroll, makakahabol kayo. No? Po, pwede nyo balikan lahat ng yon, Lahat ng files ay po pwede nyo i-download. Okay, I see a lot of letter C's. The famous author of Harry Potter, of course, is letter C, J.K. Rowling. Okay, so J.K. Rowling's story was actually from rags to riches, no? So, um, naghihikahos na siya. Uh, she, was, she was having a hard time, but then suddenly, naging hip yung kanyang series, no? Yung kanyang novels. And so now, she is living a wealthy life, okay? So that's J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter. Now, what about the rest of the people here? Sinel Harper Lee was an American novelist best known for her 1960 novel, To Kill, to Kill a Mockingbird. Maaring na, na pag-aralan nyo ito no, sa inyong literature class. So that's Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird. Stephanie Mayer is an American author known for the popular Twilight Saga, a series of vampire-themed novels for teenagers. So letter B, Stephanie Mayer mo, uh, siya yung nagsulat ng, ng Twilight ng Breaking Dawn, no? yung New Moon, siya yung nagsulat noon. Letter D naman, si Suzanne Collins, she was an American writer and she was the author. She was the author of the best-selling The Hunger Games series. Okay, so Hunger, Hunger Games naman, yung kanyang sinulat, no? si Katniss Everdeen. Maganda din yung Hunger Games, no? And so that was by Suzanne Collins. So again, lumalabas po ito sa let. So dapat po alam nyo kung ano yung sinulat ni Nino, no? So si J.K. Rowling, for um, Harry Potter, Stephanie Mayer for Twilight, Suzanne Collins for Hunger Games. Of course, you have Harper Lee, medyo luma yung kay Harper Lee, to kill a mockingbird. All right, we move on with question number nine. If July 12, 2003 fell on a Tuesday, on what day will July 12, 2005 fall? Is it letter A, Friday, letter B, Thursday, letter C, Sunday, or letter D, Monday? Ma'am Priscilla Llamas, congratulations po, no? Isa din sa ating team, uh, teammates, team member. Thank you so much, Ma'am Mek. Ganap na akong LPT. Congratulations po again. So, again, napuputol po yung ating uh, video sa atin pong sa atin pong YouTube at sa ating Facebook. Napuputol po yung video. And so, magpamember po kayo sa Team Pioche. Okay, number nine, I see A's and B's. Ang question natin, if July 12, 2003 fell on a Tuesday, on what day will July 12, 2000, 2005 fall? Is it letter A, Friday, letter B, Thursday, letter C, Sunday, or letter D, Monday? Okay. Ano kaya ang tumpak na choice? We will see. Okay, I see A's and B's. 
Okay, kasi yung ating logic dito, no? Usually kasi, we add one day every year. So kung July 12 mo, 2003, fell on a Tuesday, and you are adding just one day, so kung 2003, Tuesday siya, Martes siya, 2004 ay, um, for example, no, pag sinabi mong you are just adding one day, 2004 is Wednesday, and 2005 dapat ay Thursday siya. No? So maaaring yung inyong magiging sagot ay letter B, Thursday, because you're only adding one day every year. Pero ang problema po kasi dito, dadaan siya ng 2004. And 2004 is a leap year. No? So, at dumaan na siya sa February. Ang 2004 po ay leap year. Dumaan siya sa February, which will have an extra day for 2004. Now, paano nyo malalaman kung ang isang year ay leap year? Malalaman nyo po pag yung year ay divisible by 4. Pag siya ay dinivide mo ng 4 at walang remainder, that means it is a leap year. So yung mga leap year mo would be 2012, 2016, 2020, no, 2020 was a leap year, 2024 ay magiging leap year, no. So in this case year, uh, 2000 was a leap year, 2004 is a leap year, no. 2008 was a leap year. So that means uh imbes na mag-add ka lamang ng one day for 2004, two days yung inyong i-add. So pag 2003 ay Tuesday siya, 2004 dahil na leap year, hindi po siya magiging Wednesday. Siya ay magpo-fall on a Thursday. Okay? And of course, uh, 2005, hindi naman leap year in 2005, you'll only be adding one more day. And so that would be Friday. No? So your choice here should be letter A, Friday, and not letter B, Thursday. Okay? Not letter B, Thursday, but Friday. So dapat alam nyo kung ano yung leap year, kailan yung leap year, anong year ang leap year. Okay? So letter A, Friday is to back for number nine. We move on. With question number 10, which among the following conditions causes the loss of the body's electrolytes? Letter A, electrocution. Letter B, heart attack. Letter C, sunstroke. Or letter D, Bell's palsy. What's your choice for question number 10? All right, question number 10. What do you think is the correct choice? 